Alright, what's going on? So, in this video I want to talk about Extinction. Now, I've been playing Extinction lately since I got Ghosts on the 1, and it's entertaining, but it, it's not zombies. And that's what I want to talk about. So, Call of Duty Ghosts came out with Extinction Mode. It replaced uh, the Spec Ops that was featured in the Modern Warfare series, and I loved Spec Ops. Spec Ops was good. It was missions that weren't really story-based, that you could do with your friends and just have fun with, just challenges, you know? And they had survival mode, that was good. Now, Extinction, I think they took a complete 90 degree turn and went in a new direction, and they did a great job with it, but it's not zombies. And a lot of people just say, oh, it's Infinity Ward's version of zombies, it'll be good, blah 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 blah, and it is good, but... It's not good because it's a new version of Zombies. That's, that's not why it's good. So, Extinction has an ending to it, first and foremost. The game mode ends. If you place that nuke and you escape to the helicopter, it's over. You win. And that's not what I want. <laughs> so, when I sit down to play a game of Nazi Zombies, I want to sit down and be playing for two hours, three hours. I want to last as long as I can. Now, sometimes I'm trying to do something, get an achievement, do a challenge, whatever, but I'm still trying to survive as long as possible. Now, Extinction, we had that completed on day one. Release, we had Extinction completed. So that sort of diminishes the whole purpose of playing a survival game. If it's going to be wave-based like that, then... Make it actual wave based. Don't end it after 14 waves, you know? It's just stupid. Now, Extinction has a number of good features that I like. It has the weapon attachment system. You can go around, search things, and find an attachment. Maybe you won't find any attachments. Sometimes it screws you over. And that's a great little thing they added the chance of not having it. Whereas on. Call of Duty Zombies, all I have to do is pack punch till I get the achievement, the achievement, the attachment that I want. <laughs> and just pack punch it. Uh, oh, I didn't get iron sights. Pack punch it again. Didn't get iron sights. Pack punch it again. There's iron sights, you know? It's always that little challenge of not having what you need. Or not even what you need, what you want, really. Then there is the point cap. So, in Extinction, you can't have more than 6,000 points. When you hit 6,000 points, a little message shows up. The maximum money has been, has been reached, and you can't hold anymore. Which I think is great, because if you're surrounded by aliens, and you throw it on armor, and you're still surrounded by aliens, you have to kill them. Because you can't just keep throwing down armor and armor and armor and armor. Because you have 27,000 points, you have 6,000 points. You can throw down 6 armors, if you're lucky. So... That's a very good challenge, I think, because in Zombies, if I go down at around 30, let's say I'm playing solo on Origins, and I go down at around 30, I have 30 grand that I can go buy Jug, I can go buy Quicker Buy, I can go buy Speed Coal, go get Mule Kick, get all my perks back instantly. Whereas in this, even though there aren't any perks, so that doesn't really apply, but as I was saying before with the armor, and or even ammo, if you keep running out of ammo because you're using a crappy gun against the rhinos at the end, well then, you're, those rhinos are going to kill you. You're going to die. And that's a good thing. You don't want to just go down and pick yourself back up, run over to Jug, and continue. No, I want a good challenge. I don't know about you guys, but that's what I want. Now... The whole variety of the game, I think, is awesome. There are different types of aliens, not just zombies that are running at you. Maybe some of them would be walking. No, no, no. We have aliens. You can't train them either. They go faster than you, so if you don't kill them, you're going down. That's, what, that's what's going to happen. If you can't reload fast enough, you're dead. Simple as that. Whereas in zombies, you're training them up. And they can't run faster than you. Not not happening, unless you're playing Call of the Dead. They're not running faster than you at all. So, you can train them up, reload, you could do some 360 no scopes if that's your thing, and keep on going for 30 more rounds. Whereas Extinction, this this clip right here is the farthest I've ever got in solo. This, this last bit, or middle barrier hive. So, that just goes to show you how much of a challenge it is. Now, Granted, I don't play Extinction as much as I play Zombies, but it's just the whole fact that it's a lot more challenging. I like it. 
but it's not zombies. Zombies is completely different. It's its own challenge, whereas Extinction is a bit more challenging, and it's by Infinity Ward, which means it sucks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um... Oh, God, wow. I, I, I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> anyway... Now, with the new DLC, the first DLC, I think it's called Onslaught or something like that. It starts with an O, because the DLC is spelled Odin. There are going to be two new kinds of aliens, which I love the fact that you have to kill more tough things. They get harder and harder as it goes on. But not only that, this Extinction DLC, well, it's not Extinction DLC, but the Extinction portion of the DLC is looking like it's gonna set up a story, which I wasn't gonna buy that DLC at first, but now that I know there's gonna be a story to this alien outbreak, the aliens are actually called cryptids, according to Infinity Ward, um, which I, I really don't like that name. That That's a bad name for these aliens, J just saying. Um, <laughs> but these cryptids, it's gonna give us the story of how the outbreak happened, well, it's not really an outbreak, how the invasion happened, and what happened in the beginning. At least that's what it looks like they're gonna do in this first DLC. So hopefully there's gonna be an Easter egg of some sort, maybe it'll make make it last indefinitely, maybe just a really long never-ending wave, that could be awesome. But, um, I don't know, time will tell. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go play a little more Extinction. I'm that government. Thanks for watching. Let me know your opinion on the whole zombies extinction debate. You know where I stand. I want to hear your opinion. Anyway, I'm out of here. Be sure to check out my channel for more great content.